Now, I'm, I'm going to tell the truth now, and this is, you know, but what that, you know, that helicopter kick is basically what they call the trichette in uh, French. It's because uh, I studied ballet because mm-hmm. I was a collegiate gymnast and I couldn't stand on one foot. So my coach said, hey, you need to go to the ballet class. He was smart because there's a lot of hot girls in that class. Sure. But anyway, the trichette is a helicopter kick. And it's a it's a movement in ballet. And the thing is that people don't know is that Jean-Claude was a very good friend of Barishnikov. Okay? And the thing is that they that the, but Jean-Claude was a what was a study of ballet. And uh that kick he developed that kick from from Tergete. And you can ask him because it's the truth. Yeah, I mean he come he, it's so beautiful on screen, man. Like it's uh it motivated so many people because it's just a beautiful display of athleticism. So it's almost uh it's the ballet technique and he kind of added it to his karate repertoire, so to speak. So a lot of cinematic yeah, that, flair mean, in that case. That's why they use it in ballet. Ballet's all about art and beauty, mm-hmm. you know, physical movement. I mean, if you ever saw Rishnikov do the Trujete? I mean, this guy would get, this guy would be, you know, four to five feet in the air. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So when Jean-Claude, I mean, I don't mean to to bring that out, but but people should know the truth that, I mean, is it a martial arts kick? Absolutely. Absolutely it's a martial arts kick. They call it a tornado kick, whatever you want to call it. But but what he's doing is 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 from the art of ballet. It's called the Tujete. Rond de Jean Tujete. So when he does that, I mean he's he's excellent because he's he's skilled in that art of ballet. You know, a lot of boxers, you know, they study ballet because ballet's I I, I I'm an advocate of people to study ballet, even you. You know, you should be in a ballet class because ballet because ballet will center you and put you in a, a good, uh, you know, position and bounce and center you. And um, it gives you lift. And uh, ballet you know, would teaching- be beneficial for any athlete, martial arts, et cetera, in my opinion. Uh, and Van Dam studied for years. He was actually offered – to uh, be a professional dancer at a, I forget which company, but he had the the movie dream instead. But he could, he was that skilled and talented where he could have just been a professional ballerina, basically, if he wanted to. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, and he has the right height too. You know, or are ballet he, dancers usually shorter? The guys. Well, the girls, the girls are like you know they're very small, and you got to lift them up. And mm. I wasn't with that. I I wanted to like the lady that taught me. Her name was Gloria Moore. She was from the New York City Ballet Company. And mm-hmm. she loved me because I could, I could fly, man, at that time. She wanted me to be a ballet dancer. You know, back then, you know, here <laughs> I am. Can you imagine you know, Sonny in a tutu? <laughs> I didn't ever wear a tutu. I'm just saying the I never, I would never step I mean, I, you know, I went in, the vest. Yeah, in gymnastics. I mean, if you go to my, uh, yeah, you go to my website, you can see the pictures of me. You know, I was the second tallest gymnast. I, I you know, I, I competed at West Valley College for two years, and I did in high school. And I studied under Wachiro Mickey, like I mentioned before. But I, you know, I started. I mean, at eighth grade, I started gymnastics, and you know, I mean, I could do. I, you know, I could, I, I could do all that. Like, you know, I was sporting a double back. I could twist. I could do. You know, the side side summy. But, um, you know, like they say, and, you know, it doesn't look good for uh, karate guys to point their toes. I think it does because it makes your legs look longer. <laughs> it's a joke, man. <laughs> you anyway, don't get anyway um, I mean, it looks good on film. Me and Jean-Claude, you know, I mean, we used to go around Hollywood with our 8 by 10s and, you know, it's a dollar a piece. Put them <laughs> under the door. Jean-Claude, you know, Jean-Claude. You know, this is why what I'm talking about, a guy that really wanted it. When when AFM came into Santa Monica, Jean-Claude was over there early in the morning putting all his pictures to all those distributors in in um, the AFM. Mm-hmm. And people don't know that about him. They don't know. They say, oh, you know, he's a pretty guy. Just been... No, that guy worked his rear end off. Yeah, he, he more to than mile, I no doubt. Had. No, I mean, he did. And, and And, you know, the thing is, is that I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud to call, you know, that he was part of my history and part of my life. 
You know, I love the guy. I love, I love Michelle, you know, Sheldon, part of my life. I talk to him. I, I try to keep in touch with people as much as possible because that's all we have is each other, mm-hmm. you know, on this planet. And then, you know, the, then, then in time as we expire, you know, people say, you know, where do you go? I got the answer for you. Call me anytime. I'll tell you what the answer is. You really want to know the answer. 